Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, fans of WKU and fans of Rocket League alike, welcome to the stream. I am your host, Gavin, a.k.a. G-May. Alongside me today is Jordan, a.k.a. Joe. How are you doing today, Jordan? Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Glad to be here. <laughs> uh, we got you some Rocket League. Like I said, we have our WKU red team. Going up against uh, Kennesaw State University B team. You want to show us what the lineup's looking like, Jordan? Um, for WKU, starter is going to be Pat, Avery, and Kiksos. And coming out for Kennesaw, we have Yolo, Aura, and Blitz. Should be a very high, intense game. Um, can't wait. Yes, sir. Uh, as of right now, uh, your WKU red team is one and one in the Star League. We are in week three, by the way. And uh, <laughs> and Kennesaw State B is two and oh, so we should have a pretty interesting game here, Jordan. Oh, uh, yeah. Should be high intense on both sides of the field. Um, some very um, speedy players on the field, I very should say. Very speedy players, yeah. So. Uh, I don't know if uh, you all saw last week, but uh, we saw our WKU Red team going into game five. You remember that game, right? Uh, what a crazy series that was. Uh, very, uh, I'd say WKU Red started uh, started a little slow, um, but picked it up near the end and was able to pull it out in five. Now, last week we saw a lot of uh, a lot of really good team plays from uh, some from WKU Red. Uh, it was the classic. Avery was going into the net for a bump, and Pat would just roll the ball into the net. Uh, with a man from experience from uh, the A team, is that typically how uh, the play goes? Uh, very coordinated. Um, I feel like the comms need to be on the sink when you do stuff like that because obviously it does lead your third man back um, by himself, uh, which can result in a 2v1 against your team. But uh, if coordinated right, um, can result in a goal for your team just every time. Now we uh, we went ahead and looked at the the roster from uh, Kennesaw State B, and not gonna lie, they have some uh, some decent players. Uh, what do you think? Uh, what do you think our A team needs to do if they want to keep up with them and put up a good competition? Um, I feel like off the start they just need to be aggressive. Um, I'm not sure if they know their ranks, but saying if they do, um, just stay aggressive. Um, don't get caught back when your heel is too much. Um, find teammates and yep. just have fun, man. Comms, yeah. keep the comms up, and it should be a very, very um, high anticipated game. Yes, I know me personally. Whenever I like to play, I do not like. Uh, I don't like looking at the other team's ranks beforehand because <laughs> in my mind, I'm always like, it doesn't matter what their rank is. They could be number one on their leaderboards. They're not better than me. <laughs> so you know, let's hope. Uh, let's hope WKU Red. <laughs> Keeps it. Oh my goodness, that is so loud. So we Looks like we're uh, joining into the lobby, everybody. Should be starting any second now. Let's see, I'm just getting everything set up for us. It looks like everyone is joining in. Let's see, let's go ahead and switch to Rocket League. Players are there we go. The game should be starting here any second now. Three seconds. We have Maystar League Week 2. One sec. Let me... I can't even hear myself think right now, so let me turn this down just a little bit. We'll turn it up on the stream for you. All right. Now let's get this game started. Starting off an early goal from Avery. All right, that's what we like to see. Nineteen seconds in, and we already saw a little pass play from Pat. Nice little early lead. One zero. WK Red. Nice early aggression. We got Pat off the back, off the ceiling. Actually, looking for another shot on. Him. Unable to make it in, but Avery's going to try to keep it in. Takes us now on the ball. Going for a little solo play. He has time. Knocking it down. Pat trying to get there. Knocked away from the uh, Kennesaw State defense. Oh, nice aggression. Nice touch off the backboard. Almost is open in a row. So it's a little solo play. Oh, you can't get up to go. Save by sleep. 
saw Kennesaw State trying to get their own passing play going. They weren't able to make it work out. They had two players in the air and uh, just couldn't connect. Now they're trying to keep the pressure up back in the WKU half. Not lasting long though. Pat's going to try to control it out with a flip over one. Actually, it's a pass to Avery. Shot on net, knocked away by Sleepy Fear. Looks like Kennesaw State is now going to be able to break out of their half. Pat's still going to do pressure on the ball, but it's going to be pressure on the WKU net instead. Got one shot on the backboard. Shot by Dolo, just going to be to the left. Follow up by Aura. Scramble on the WKU goal line. And that's how they're going to break out, but not for long. Pat trying to, trying to stay in the net, trying to keep the defensive wall up. And they have a fast break. Open net for WKU. Avery's going to knock it in, putting them 2 0. Three minutes, seven seconds left. Avery is the second goal of the game. Letting the pressure get to them. Absolutely. They had it looked like they were scrambling there for a little bit, but honestly, I think they were just putting up a brick wall. As soon as that ball hit that brick wall, it just went right into the KSU net. And as I say that, Ara scores a shot off the ceiling into the WK net. Trying to get the score a little bit closer. Just three minutes. Three minutes and two seconds up again. This pressure from Kinsol immediately off the kickoff. I just couldn't stay close enough to the ball to keep the 50 to I guess the demo that meant it's open in A3. That's hat trick early in game one. That's the typical one two that you like to see. This time it's Pat with the demo. Avery with the finish. It seems that Hicksos is really submitting himself as the third man, but that's exactly what he needs. Good simple player. Let the other two go to work. If it works, it works, right? Uh, the speed is there for the bunch. The third man that can stay solid. The team is in for a very good series. So I can have a feeling that these demos are going to be being in bunches. Absolutely. And WK is just not getting off of the ASU half. They are just putting shot after shot on that, trying to keep possession. But it can only last for so long as KSU is starting to break out the WWE half and try to start their own offensive pressure. It's only there to capitalize on it. Now it just seems like a game of volleyball going back and forth. Both teams trying to just build something, trying to build a play. They're happy. Both touches coming up from both teams about the time Absolutely, a little bit of miscommunication looks like uh, from putting the lead there. Both players will want to go for it on defense, but they don't want to It looks like it's working out in their favor. KSU wasn't able to capitalize on it. We got one and up from Geeksos. Trying to put a shot on net, just hit the backboard, screaming down to the WKU. The shot toward Matt Aura almost gets to the lead. Somewhat Avery with the demo on net. Pat still has the ball. Trying to get over one. Dolo able to knock it to the corner. Safe for now. Avery still trying to keep pressure. Dixos on top of the ball high for Pat. Can he get there? He gets it over one. Low on move. Able to get there for another touch. He's going to keep it in their corner. Trying to keep control. Not for long though. One up. Just unable to miss. Uh, unable to hit it. KSU, down two, 50 seconds to go. Game one, get on Avery. Get on Hyksos, WKU, needing to just build a strong defense and hold off for the last 37 seconds of this game. Get down, back to Aurora, can't find a double, but Dolo, sort of clean it up to KSU. They bring it within one. We got 30 seconds remaining. Interesting game and game. We were talking uh, KSU rank wise. It looks like they are better, but WKU just they seem to have the team chemistry down just a little bit more. And I don't care what rank you are, if you have that team chemistry, you can take on the best teams in the world. Solid, good, 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 good,
the right moment to save her. He's looking to go for his full point of the game. He's going to buy sleep. Um, KSU trying to get the... Trying to find the equalizer. That's going to be very nice to get him. He's going to hit the floor. And WKU is going to run away with it. Game number one. Absolutely. I just realized we've had them in the wrong side this entire time, so let's fix that real quick. <laughs> WKU showing a strong game one against Kennesaw State University B team. I love what I see. The team plays, the passing, the demos. That, that's textbook WKU play right there, and that's what I want to keep seeing throughout this series. Avery with a very strong game one. Here. Avery with a hat trick in game one. Let's see if he can continue it on into game two. Shooting a very nice three for five. Three for five. Game two, starting here in just a moment. Let's see if WKU can keep their momentum or if KSU B team can stop in their tracks. See right off the kickoff, it can go into either team's favor. Demo on Pat, he's trying to control it, but Moore is not letting that happen. It seems that even with the demo, they don't have any offensive pressure. Said they're just trying to challenge in the midfield. Pitch it to the WKU corner. Uh, so, uh, uh, you get a fan of how to follow it. But, man. Uh, that's a demo. He's got the dodge. He's going to the first game. He's going to go forward. He had some good pressure there for a moment. It seemed like the ball was going to go in, but. KSU was just able to knock it back into their corner. There we go, pop fly ball. Center field, Dolo trying to go for a double fake set for Sleepy Wear. Sleepy, for Sleepy Fear, <laughs> my, my bad. Sleepy passed down to a teammate, unable to get the right cut. So Avery is just going to control this out of his half. Dolo pre-jumping him. Avery with the musty flip for the 50-50. Able to win it too. Pat, down for Hyksos. Hyksos is still getting there, unable to make a shot onto target. Avery's going to leave this ball to Pat, let them recoup, get some boost, get back into their half, and try to set up a play. Looks like a... Just ball in the mid. Oh, look at that. Open net for Avery. There was a miss by Sleepy Fear and left no one in net for KSU. Avery already scored the whole series. He is Looking packing this team on his back, scoring everything for WKU Red. Very strong. Helping the pace WKU is playing. Speeding it up, slowing it down at moments, finding the pick and wisely, and giving KSU maybe the second more pull. They're controlling, they're controlling the game. They're, they're playing their game. They're not letting KSU play their game. If they need to, if they need to regroup, gain some time, they can control that. If they need to speed it up and catch them off guard, they can do that. And here we are, two minutes into the game. 1-0, WKU Red trying to get another one on KSU. And it almost happens. Pat, going for a solo play, knocked away by Oro. Okay, he's just trying to, trying to gather themselves on their half. Awkward ball rolling in front of the net. Pat able to 50-50 it away. Trying oh, yeah. to mix us. Avery with the break. Ooh, scary. <laughs> Scary move there by Sleepy. Looked like he was almost going to own goal. It. But now he wants this double, but he has no boost, so he has no choice but to fake it. Pat's able to knock the ball to safety. Avery challenging early, getting the ball off the low. ASU now scrambling back. Doesn't look like they have much structure on defense. Avery pumping back wall. Pat's going to try to keep it in. Almost with the doomsy dish. That's jumping off the back wall and knocking the ball into the net. Tried for the solo play. Didn't work out. Avery. Ball to the side. And try to play the solo play. Nice to the corner. But he's kneeling up by Aurora. Slow play out and throw off the stone. Over to the mid. Ah, it's got Avery. Avery just can't make a touch. That's going to be here to keep the pressure for WKU. Really back to Avery. Oh, what's up, Mama? Because Pizza is there. 
down to the final 60 seconds. It's only a one goal lead by WKU, but it seems like this game is theirs. They are controlling this. They're trying to gather one more goal. Pat trying to pinch it into the net, un unable to make it happen. Trying to get that nice little cushion goal. Aura almost equalizing the game. Able to, but the pressure is still on for WKU. Trying to get this ball out of their half, trying to get back control. Aura. Pressure. Able to get the ball off the WKU defender. It looks like both teams are scrambling right now, but shot by Sleepy, knocked away by Hicksos. Aura now up for the puck fly. Pat able to knock it away. WKU still trying to break out. They got 20 seconds left. And they've faced tons of pressure. When Aura cuts in the equalizer for KSU, the pressure was mounting. WKU just couldn't seem to find the touches to leave the pressure play right here in game number two. Well, it seems I ate my words there. Right as there was one minute left, I said WKU has controlled this entire game. KSU able to just completely prove me wrong in that last minute, the last 45 seconds to get a goal in. It looks like we might be going into overtime here in game two. Unless one of the teams trying to make a play. They're going to keep it on the ground. Going into overtime. Game two. It's a down almost there. And what, what a, a save. save by Pat. Give credit where credit is due. That was an amazing pass followed by an amazing shot. Pat able to make the save though. WK now trying to start their own play. It looks like Aura going for the play shot. Missed by Sleepy. Aura was able to get the demo on the WK defender. That was wide open. Unable to make it happen. So now WK is trying their own. Trying their own plays. Not able to make something happen yet. Trying to slow it down. Get control. Issue not letting that happen. That's trying to stay on the ball, knocked away by Sleep. Avery is up, trying to get control of it. As he's, uh, he just hit the ball too hard. He's going to stay on it though. Now a pinch from Hicksos towards the net, knocked away by Sleepy here. He has 40 boost, trying to knock it out to Dolo. Dolo, not there in time. Shot out to the middle, knocked away by Aura. That up, awkward touch into the WKU corner. And an insane save coming up from Pixos at the perfect time. As it's going to be there. That round, Bowen Bruce, and Powell in the second to go to the butt. That's a good hit. So it's a nice hit. Pressure right now. Bowen in the center, and they're coming to the edge. Okay. Three out, but by Aura. Aura is going to have to control the net. Bump coming out from KSU and unfortunately Aura is there to clean it up. WKU falls. And with that, we tie the series one to one. KSU really bringing their game out this game. That's what you want to see from them. It seems that they uh, really, really composed themselves. They were able to able to gather team plays. Had a few missed opportunities there. Uh, but they ke definitely kept the pressure up, and I'm pretty sure that's what uh, secured them this victory here in Game 2. WKU now just needs to work on how to break out of their half. Any thoughts on that, Jordan? Well, majority of Game 2 was WKU's like, trolling the pace, playing their 50s nicely. Um, they're playing very solid on defense. It just came down to the end. A few missed touches, a few missed opportunities, and fortunately KSU capitalizes. It really felt like that last minute. KSU turned it up. Turned up the heat. 
able to keep the pressure on and even into overtime. It didn't seem like WKU had much of a much of a scoring opportunity. Let's go ahead and get into game three. Let's see who now controls the field. We had pressure from both teams. So we need to know who is going to carry the momentum for the next game. Who is going to try to control the series? Who is going to put the series into match points? Let's reload into game number three here. Three's top, 1-1, one, one. here we go. First 30 seconds, definitely, uh, definitely getting whispers of game one for WKU. They control the pressure the first minute. Now they're just putting shot after shot on net. Needing one to go in, put them up game three. Shot toward net, saved by Dobo. Played that defense really well. Definitely didn't look like last game. They they kept, they stay composed. They were able to keep control. Same thing here. Avery just brick wall, unable to let a shot go through. He's able to keep WKU alive here in game two. Pat staying on his staying on his roof in the oh might have some technical issues. He comes up. Oh, just not in time. I have some uh, technical issues here in game three. Seems like he is back, but he's back for Just in time. a long time. KSU goes up 1 0 here. A minute and 30. Game three. Definitely going to take that goal. Oh, Avery with an interesting play on offense after the kickoff. But yes, KSU, if you're, if you're KSU, you're definitely going to take that goal. As far as I believe in a Star League, there are no timeouts. We uh, we do not have the privilege to uh, pause a game if there are technical issues, so they're just going to take that. Demo from Avery, the, the classic one-two. Wonderful plays. Demo and shot coming out from Lily Cage. Perfect time for that and the perfect position to capitalize off the demo. See, that is textbook. That play started with Avery in the corner. He had the ball, but as soon as the KSU defender knocked it off, he went straight for the net, straight for the demo. Pat was ready for that ball, and he was ready to score right into the KSU net. Equalizing game three, 1-1, one, one, with a little over halfway to go in. WKU can keep up the physicality. Keep the ball on the side of the field, not at the play. Other than they have to play off now. So. The series is in their fate. Sean in the midfield. On the 50 throw. Comes down to and the combat. And the chemistry be there. So TSU on the defense. So it's going back down. The floor is there. Right. The floor is there again to play the 50. Dolo, they're gonna get it out of the seat. Dolo with the shot! Oh, what? Now we have offensive pressure from WKU. Pat with a shot on net. Knocked away by Sleepy. Avery trying to keep the ball in. Aura with an unfortunate back foot. Avery's gonna try to stay on this. He's gonna leave it for Hicksos. Hicksos with a shot on net, knocked away by Sleepy. Pat now up. All right, he can follow the ball. He has no boost, though. He's in a very awkward situation, so he's just going to leave it. Go for a bump on Aura. Avery tried to put the shot in. Aura was able to dodge the bump and knock the ball away. 
Right, now trying on the ball. 40 boost. Knocking a high Dolo. A little knocked away. Pixos ready. Bump Dolo into the ball. So as the ball goes into the corner, Pixos is now going to try to hit the back wall. Dolo with the read. Sleepy. Trying to control. Take it out of their half. They've been having uh, pressure the past minute. Well, they're breaking away. No one there to follow. Ball rolls right across the WKU net. No shot comes through. Shot by Pat! Oh, give WKU the lead here late in game number two. That's what you want to see right there. Pass directly into the midfield from Hicksos to Pat. Pat, I believe, giving the first goal. Other than Avery. No, no, Avery had the demo. Pat with both goals here in game two. Putting them up two to one. 14 seconds left. All they have to do is hold on to the ball now. We gotta keep KSU away, keep control of it. They're gonna put another shot on net action. Same. Keep up the aggression. I give KSU a chance. Oh, they need this ball to hit the ground. Oh, but WKU going to match point. No one can keep to it. WKU goes up 2 1. Let's see. WKU, red team, on match point. Can they send it to the end game? Or is it going? are we going to have two game fives two weeks in a row? Although it would be exciting to see game five, but I would like WKU. I would like to see WKU close this one out. But Definitely if they can want keep to up the out. aggression, Pat came alive there in game number three. May need another star performance here, but holding strong on defense. Just need to find each other in the midfield and uh, Absolutely. let's not game. count out Hicksos. We've uh, talked about him being the support player, but if it wasn't for that pass there, 17 seconds left, they wouldn't have gotten that goal. And that is, the goal is exactly what they needed. Let's hope they can carry on that momentum into game three. Let's hope they can close out this series. Hicksos playing a wonderful third man here, supporting the offensive threats from Avery and Pat, but it seemed like that game, Avery was playing a little bit of a third man on the defensive side, and Ixos coming out with the, the assist. Right. Oh, kick off. It's a 50. Sleepy's going to be here to meet it. Down. Pat with a beat. Oh, well. Down the middle. here to follow. It's a little space. Ixos with the speed to make up for it. What a save by Pat. As much as I talked about Avery being the brick wall, Pat has had some insane saves here in this series. It just seems like he's able to just flip his car in the perfect way. Unable to, it looks like it's all but in. Pat able to knock the ball away. Ooh, demo from Avery. Looked like he was hunting for the spawn demo. I'm going to make it happen. Hicksos with another pass in the middle. Shot by Avery. And we are up 1-0. 54 seconds into game four. Very nice pass down from Hicksos. Avery is there to beat the missed touch from KSU and knocks it in. I told to turn up the commentator audio. Give us one moment. Okay, we'll hope that this is better. And a shot from Hicksos doesn't even look like it's supposed to go in. His car is just floating by the ball. Let's see what happened here. Absolute madness from WKU, but they are able to make it work. Putting them up, two goals. They have the cushion here in game number four. Three minutes, 53 seconds left. WKU, hold on to this lead. Hold on to this. Hold on to this game. 
I agree. I think it's a slow play out of this corner. Two players here from KSU, and that's going to clear it away. Oh well. Take this one in his corner. Play it out. He tells us a mistouch. Pat going to play this one down. Try to get a follow. He can. He gets it, but no one there to follow it up. Though. Oh, the sleepy, sleepy to go and go to the sky, but can't get the touch. And sleepy, instantly hits the ball toward his side, but Aura is here to get that touch. It was a KSU 50, <laughs> two teammates. Details is here to try to hit this one mid. Half the speed. Oh, no one from WKU there to put the shot in. Looks like Avery was hunting for bumps there. There, uh, oh wait, another pass from Hicksos into the mid. Avery just shooting it high. Pat trying to keep it in the corner. No boost, but he's going to put a shot on net. Barely blocked away by Aura. And Sleepy's going to knock it away. Dolo now starting the pressure. Pat unable to make a touch, but it's going to be there for Avery. Avery tried to 50, but it's going to be popped up for Dolo. Pat trying to cut off the pass. It's going to hit the ceiling or the backboard. And now. Avery with a breakaway. Demo on one. Can he get the 50 down? No. Yeah, away. Can he control the ball away? Bello now has it. Trying to air dribble it away. KSU, you're just trying to get at least one goal right now. Trying to start some form of offensive pressure similar to what they had in game two. But they're unable to make it happen. Ooh, almost a drop down for the pass. Are you trying to play it slow at moments? Really not give KSU the chance. It's a mistouch coming up from Hicksos and Sleepy capitalizes to bring KSU within one. They only have one more to go if they want to bring it into game five. It's what they need. Otherwise, this clock runs down. That's the end of this series. Let's see how it plays out. Kickoff, we got some WKU pressure, but instantly knocked away by Aurora. Aura trying to put a uh, ball into the net. Knocked away by WKU. Avery searching for a boost. Can't find it anywhere. Now as the ball gets sent into the WKU half, it's only hope that they uh, gather the pressure, gather the goal. It looks like a shot on Aura. He's leaving Pixos. Trying to fend for himself. As he gets a pass too, 50 both of them nicely. Avery demoing the shooter. Pat, now just keep control. Pass over to Avery. Avery with control. Pat with the bump. Attempt, not able to make it happen. Pixos is now the last man. Dolo doesn't have the boost to make anything happen now. Aura's trying to still make a play out of it. Sleepy with a flip reset with no boost to make anything happen. They're trying to make something happen, but they just don't have the boost to make a play. Pressure was mounting for a while for KSU and KU not collapsing, staying solid as here they come, ball hit high, Aura up, packs up, both get the 50, ball's put in the corner, off the backboard, he just can't find the touch, but Dolo can't either. Aura, they try to dribble this in his corner, gets a flight court, and that's sleeping there, but it's too late, Dolo here. To the corner, gonna be cleaned up by Hicksos and hits it out to relieve pressure. Just able to make the, the right shots, he keeps going wide, he keeps going high. Shots are just too soft. KSU is able to keep the pressure up, but they're just unable to really make anything happen now. See, once it, uh, they get the breakout, WKU has the pressure. Five seconds left. Oh, Save from Adrian, shot. Adrian, Adrian another is a save. brick wall. All the ball needs to do is hit the ground, and we got a WKU victory. Pat, hit the ball down, and that's WKU with so the win in game four. Insane saves coming out from Avery to close out the series. Well done, WKU Red, as they win it 3-1 against Kennesaw University. Kennesaw State University definitely putting up a good fight. And I'm not going to lie. Whenever we were looking at them in the beginning, I was definitely, I mean, I was a little worried. You know, we were 1-1, one one, they were 2-0. and oh. As far as I know, they are all supersonic legends, unless they had one grand champion three. But WKU, able to make it happen in four games. That just shows you. That just shows you how much chemistry matters in this game. And WKU showed that playing together uh, can get you the dub. Um, 
finding teammates, staying solid on defense really matters when it comes up to these big games and playing against high-level players. And I think they played well, and uh, the results say so. Absolutely. Very glad to see uh, see the performance out of the boys. Uh, don't know who uh, they're playing next week, but that now puts them up 2-1 in Nace. Same thing with Kennesaw State. I believe next week they are playing OTSU, OTSU Esports, Esports Royal. Royal. So tune into that. That game. Hopefully we'll have be. the audio issues fixed by then. I, I noticed people were still saying that the uh, people were still saying that the audio was a little bit quiet, but we should have it. Yes, WKU able to keep the pressure up. They were they utilize those plays that we were talking about a lot with the bumps and the, and the cleanup goals. It's what you love to see. Well, like most of the series, WKU just controlled the pace, played their game. At times, it got a little hectic on defense, but uh, stayed strong in the end and pulled out the dubs. Some insane saves coming out from all the players on WKU throughout Absolutely, that series. Especially Avery and Pat. They were just a brick wall. Hexos was able to play that third man role perfectly. He was the he was the third man back whenever he needed to. He was the passer when he needed to. He just played the role. Hicks, uh, Avery and Pat though able to make all the key plays happen. Not the duo we want, but the duo <laughs> we need. <baby>. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Well, thank you for joining us for May Star League Week Three. So happy we could uh, give you a win from WKU and. We will see you next week. Go Talks. WKU is home for big dreamers. For those who shape the future, who set their sights high, accept challenges, fuel their passions, for those with a desire to create a better tomorrow. You don't come here to prepare for one thing. You come here to prepare for everything. You belong on this hill, where we engage, learn, grow, and celebrate together. Climb with us at Western Kentucky University.